Hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here today we're going to talk about WooCommerce and Stripe and WordPress how do you set that all up together what can it do for you we're going to talk about setting up a membership site so that you can do it for free so you don't have to pay like a 300 a month or something or whatever it is that you're paying elsewhere to set up a membership site now you can set up a membership site lots of different places but I just wanted to show you how to do it with WooCommerce Stripe and WordPress so that it's possible to do it for free or mostly for free uh, actually I think it can be done for free we're going to go through the process I actually have not done that myself so it's going to be a learning experience for me too so you're going to follow along and learn with me and obviously if you have any questions you can always comment or reach out or but before we go there before we talk about that first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so as a course creator do you need this kind of thing do you need a membership site well that really depends on the kind of course the kind of attraction kind of uh, personal branding attraction marketing what you're doing online but typically you're going to want to have a place where people can congregate where they can get to learn about what you do and be able to connect with each other and a membership site in a wordpress is uh under your control complete control versus doing it in Facebook in the Facebook group for example which lots of people do but you know what happens if Facebook shuts down your account what what happens if 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 Facebook goes goes away right you don't have control of that so that's why it's a good idea to have a separate place you could have both right and um, yeah let's take that uh, we don't need to see that there but yeah so you know that's the thing so setting up your own membership site where you control it is what we're going to talk about here before we go into that I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video which is at cis348.jsgagnon.com to go check out the video and the blog post where you're going to be able to see exactly what we're talking about here all right now let's go and share my screen and let's get right to it so you have a wordpress site now we're not gonna we're not gonna go through this is my blog and it can look a whole bunch of different ways I have I have different blogs um but this is a particular theme I chose and I mean you know there's lots of different ways that a blog can look but the point is you have wordpress set up if you don't have wordpress set up I'm not going to go through the whole process but you can look at this blog post my blog post course income secrets number 347 right on my blog which you could find at cis347.jsgagn1.com to go uh, check out how to set up WordPress on uh, Click eCourse if you don't have a, a WordPress blog already but let's assume you've got that done you've got that set up and you want to install a plugin obviously you will go to your dashboard let's go to the dashboard and we're going to install the plugins now WooCommerce is a whole set of things but let's just do a basic let's just go in here I'm going to go into plugins and I'm going to uh go into add new plugins right that's pretty straightforward and I'm going to go WooCommerce right so that's going to show me any of the WooCommerce right plugins there's a bunch of them uh the basic one is this one I um I believe WooCommerce is the world's most yeah so I just click on install now install the plugin right and then after it's installed I activate it I don't even know what <laughs> WooCommerce actually does I just know lots of people are using it and it's a it's one of the ways to do that there's other ways there's a Stripe uh, uh, WooCommerce plugin right there right but the first thing is it's going to ask you to set up as you can see right here uh let me just uh let, actually what I'm going to do is well this is not a big deal but let me uh go back to the webcam because I don't want to necessarily share my full address I'm just going to put that in here select the country 
it's asks for the in my case Canada so Prince Edward Island the city and the postal code now uh, I would assume that that's because you're going to be doing transactions so you need to have um there's an option here that says I'm setting up a storefront for a client so that would be if you're setting it up for somebody else right if you're setting up just for yourself you just don't check that you click on continue and it talks about getting improved features and faster fixes by sharing non-sensitive data to WorldCom. so I'm just going to say count me in that's fine and then uh it asks you what industry so let's go back to the, sh the screen there you go so the next screen after you put your address in it's going to ask you what kind of business you're in I'm just going to go and say education and learning and I'm going to say is there do I have physical products no I have downloads I have subscriptions I have memberships and that's about it I'm just going to say so is that I'm not wondering if, is it talking about oh I guess it's saying that you have to pay let customers subscribe to your products and pay on a weekly monthly and annual basis so I'm guessing that you have to have an upgraded account so I'm just going to disable these and we're just going to say yeah, I have downloads all right so how many products do you plan to display uh, I don't know let's say one to ten currently selling elsewhere uh, I guess I'm just gonna say yes on another platform oh geez I don't know why why is he why does it want to know about all this stuff right okay so which platform is the store using uh, oh, I'm just gonna say no I'm just gonna say no let's not worry about it okay so now it's uh, suggesting different places where I can pr sell my products drive traffic to your store with Google ads I don't know why these are enabled I'll just leave them enabled market on Facebook let's continue that's a very interesting I like I like this I guess the membership you have to pay for I'm, I'm not sure if I should try to do that uh, it's continuing it's setting up my account I suppose and then it's choosing my theme choose a theme choose how your store appears to customers that's interesting why would it want me to choose a different theme is it going to make me change my blog theme I already have a blog theme continue with my active theme huh I have no idea so I guess there's a storefront here and then there's free themes oh I see okay so you're gonna have a boutique or you're gonna have a storefront hmm. okay I'm just gonna say continue with my active theme because I don't want to change that uh then it talks about jetpack so jetpack I don't need jetpack uh they're activated for free so this is store management on the go your store in your pocket automated sales tax improved speed I'm not sure I'm just going to say no for now this is a bit more complicated than I thought it would be right so now I have WooCommerce welcome to your WooCommerce store online here's where you'll find a suggest setup suggestion tips and tools okay so let's just create a product right personalized inbox full of relevant advice check your inbox for helpful growth tips tailored to your store notifications and we look forward to, okay let's click on next good data it just talks about how let's go all right so all right so I have store detail add add my products I'm going to add one start with a template add manually import I'm just going to go it's going to be a digital product and I'm going to make this one of my I guess I'll maybe I'll do the TikTok course right because I have the TikTok course so let's just say TikTok masters whoops tick tock what what's going on why can't he uh okay tick tock masters course 
okay so then I have text here let's just go to the Click eCourse site that I already have now obviously if you're doing this you could have maybe a course that you haven't yet put anywhere or maybe it's on Udemy or it's on other sites or maybe it's on Click eCourse so if it's on Click eCourse um, you would go to it and you would go find it so let me just log in by the way you can register for a free account here as well and that's part of how you would get your own free WordPress site right now once you're logged in if I go to my courses actually I probably could have just went straight to course let's go to courses so I go to two, 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 two. there it is right here so I'm just going to take the text out of that and just use the same text I have here mm. just use all this that and I'm going to go back to here and I'm going to put that in here there you go okay that's fine what's this product description that's fine next I got that okay so I got my description Facebook so Google Ads and marketing uh, plugin is almost ready get started Mailchimp I don't need Mailchimp I already have uh, Aweber Facebook for WooCommerce complete your setup okay <laughs> so now I have my product uh what do I do I publish it where is it going to go it's going to be a page I suppose right just a regular page edit product <coughs> okay so there's the image okay so I would need to have an image if I go here I actually have this already someplace else I think so let's just change the image upload an image I'm going to go find it in my I'm going to go find that in my uh where is it it's going to be do, 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 do. I have it someplace in here it's probably TikTok TikTok masters course and okay, let's use this one there you go uh, SEO the featured image should be at least 200 uh, picked up by Facebook and as a okay so that's not good enough upload what else do I have what if I just used so this one here what's this is there let's do details Details. just want to see oh that won't tell me this one uh yeah it's not telling me the information oh man how do I know the size of this image uh tick tock masters cover masters let's try this one I don't know well I guess we'll find that after I load it up I could have find figured out yeah 1920 that's perfect okay so it's a big error image but anyways okay so that's it here now we have um where's the uh duets why is this bold it doesn't need to be bold do duets and reacts difference between them lip sync okay anyways so let's just update and this is not why is it music anyways doesn't really matter okay so now I created a product so now I can view my product and this is the page is basically a page product album uh, 15 dollars why did he put it oh, I see description reviews interesting okay so that's uh, uh there must be a place to set the price where is it 
<clears throat> oh, oh, down here okay retail price this is actually 247 is it how much do I sell it here 197 so I'm just going to do the same thing sale price oh there's a schedule for a sale price oh, I see downloadable files oh okay I would have to have these all here um maybe I just make it accessible here right right over here so this would be a good example so click e-course site let's just do that <coughs> there you go downloadable files downloadable limit um not really sure the simple virtual product product short description oh, I see so product short description let's make it this thing learn the secrets whoops <coughs> like this we're going to do that we're going to put that here and then there you go so now super socializer no that's fine inventory link products upsells cross sales attributes oh my god there's so much stuff anyways so that's the that's let's just say this is fine I'm just going to update this now I have if I look at the product again I can see the right price it's loading up just give it a second here so uh if I view the product right now I have the product here that's not what I promised I did not promise so now I have one product I did talk about setting up um subscription uh, some, a membership site right so the membership site would be uh some something else obviously right under WooCommerce coupons MailChimp creative customers creative mail okay so WooCommerce home now set up payments okay okay let's go set up payments stripe oh, okay accept debit cards there you go so let's just set that up connect your install WooCommerce okay so he first installs the plugin then he connects my stripe account if I'm going to click on this <coughs> it's going to load up the stripe connect and it's going to ask me to log in have a stripe account use the same email uh, okay it's my email um hmm let me see what my stripe password is if I can remember it let's see if this works again now if you don't have a stripe account already uh look at that I got two of them so I guess it would be this one March 28th and February 7th this year hmm. I think it probably should be this one if I want but anyways it probably can be changed that's fine so now it's going to be it's connecting and it's going to go back so now it's going to be connected to that account that click ecourse one which I think I'm not even sure if there's any way for me to get funds out of there because I don't have a business account a, an actual bank account the other option is PayPal I can set up PayPal as well I can have the I should be able to use the two of them right I should be able to get people to pay with like if somebody doesn't want to pay with Stripe they can pay with PayPal right okay connect with that account okay so what does this do okay there you go 
there so now that's connected cash on delivery direct bank transfers wow you can actually do that too hmm. okay so now if I go to my customers I don't have any customers obviously extensions maybe it's extensions I'm just trying to find the uh WooCommerce oh there you go subscriptions so they want a special upgrade manage your subscriptions from the convenience hmm. no I want to find browse extensions I want to find subscriptions take your store beyond let customers subscribe to your product or services and pay on a weekly okay from what see that's the thing so you can get subscriptions set up but or memberships get give members access to restricted content but you got to pay for the WooCommerce thing right show Canada post shipping rates that's interesting improve the main features there's a whole lot of stuff wow eh? and then look at this there's all these extra things you can pay for from 49 for the product add-on product search increased sales smart coupons powerful marketing automation hmm. so all these things obviously if you're a really die hard and you really want to build a business with WooCommerce there's lots of stuff you can do and if you want subscriptions I thought that it would be free to set up subscriptions there is um a, there's a way to do it using PayPal using other things but let's say we wanted somebody if they buy something I want them to automatically call a webhook to activate something like for example let's say they buy the this through WooCommerce I want to you know give them this course give them or maybe I want to give them a plugin or it doesn't really matter what I want to give them there's if there's a is there, if there's an API or a what we call a webhook to enable that then that would be something that I'd be wanting to look into so let's look at that let's go back to the product so if they buy the product where's the product where all oh, products are here okay so if they buy the products and I look at this product here there's one product in stock it's not a music I probably I should I probably need to edit the categories <laughs> well actually let's do that I'm going to edit this product I'm going to add a new category oops it's loading a bunch of stuff right so I'm going to add a new category right here I'm going to call this uh, digit digital course courses right and I'm going to not make it's not music I'm just going to make it a digital course right okay so that's what that is and let's see where I have a purchase where do I have a purchase option here someplace so SEO okay right over here linked advanced let's go into advanced see if there is anything purchase note menu order okay it's not downloadable because it's just a inventory stock status manage stock SKU so the SKU would be course number 87 let's do that I'm just call this number 87 <coughs> attributes hmm. I'm just trying to see if there's a way to hook enhance extensions can add new functionality browse the marketplace I what I want is reviews no okay <coughs> what I want is whenever somebody buys I want it to um to trigger an um, external hook right so simple product group product it's a gr external affiliated product product url okay let's do that so that's the product url right here okay buy the product the price the sale price okay inventory SKU link product mm, attributes mm, add what is that name no I don't want that 
advanced menu order enable reviews get more options okay I guess it's not part of the free it can't be because it's unless it's under <coughs> marketing coupons Facebook analytics <coughs> if I update it because I really like if I had like say a plugin I wanted to sell that required them to have an account inside of some back back end well that that needs to be done you with a with a webhook right so let's see if I can figure that out um let me see um okay well let's let's look at the browse uh, browse the the these extensions that they talk about right get more options browse the marketplace what is it that it's gonna so extension store for WooCommerce so search ex browse extensions okay let's say webhook webhook strap extension show for more results so b to be all in one wholesale plugin all the features in search selling wholesale product documents segmenter all the free ones three to 49. <coughs> maybe the stripe one does it right I'm not sure let's go look at the stripe config so where's the stripe stripe super <coughs> where's the stripe version WooCommerce extensions over here <coughs> uh no I want to look at the stripe where's the stripe configuration maybe this is the one right automate woo I would think that this is maybe what you need right this is exactly how it works right everything has a cost to it right now what is this what is this 199 is it 199 a year what is this so this is this is WooCommerce memberships one year or updates and support so buy now 199 so this will give you a year of it okay so that's the that's that let's go back and it doesn't so featured all enhancements marketing payments hmm let's go free just look at the free ones can I search for them oh yeah so let's look for um web hook <coughs> okay. so there's a web hook in stripe that's it I already have that so why is it not I have it installed maybe I don't have it installed so you need a word you need a stripe account okay so let's do that log in I already have a user okay wordpress.com okay so it has to be wordpress.com oh I see but I it's not it's third it's free why is it making me go through this crazy thing and it's my wordpress account it's not my word you know my own wordpress blog right it's a little confusing isn't it I wish this was easy to do uh choose our store owner maybe I'm a developer one updates no one in Prince Edward Island 
okay let's let's hide this again let's go back just to the webcam let's put that in here all right so now we have all that let's click on purchase which is zero dollars <throat> so add to site add to your site there's an add to site button there there was also a download button which I think maybe that's how I would install it to my other site connect your Jean Serge Gagnon okay so I guess not I guess that's fine let's go back to the desktop and work here so after I clicked the add because it was free it gave me another button that said add to site which you're going to see if you do that too and then I just click on approve right here and it is jeansergegagnon.com so that's the one that I want it to be on installing the extension I'm hoping that this will work because of um, the way that the WordPress server is set up so I'm going to pause the video so that you don't have to sit through this and we'll be back when it's done all right so it looks like this is not working there is a message down here that says taking too long you can also install your extension manually which we're going to do I'm just going to click on that and I'm just going to download it where is it managing WooCommerce subscriptions uh, REST API so connect download and activate product keys sign in to WooCommerce I'm going to just do that over here um I, where's do I log in okay use WordPress to log in okay I'm just going to log in my account if this is just help I don't <laughs> I want the site take me to the site there we go I'm already logged in okay so now once I'm logged in I gotta go find the extensions WP admin uh, where is it it's under W go to WP admin sign in to WooCommerce.com oh I actually have to do that on my uh Let's go here just sign in WooCommerce uh, let's see don't forget to test learn about their I'm just trying to see where do you sign in settings I'm just trying to find right here I thought the integration might have been uh, that might might have been it but under products shop page weight dimensions previews product ratings okay uh inbox store setup no that's where I was before extensions uh, 
this should be easier right why is it so complicated to just I just want to sign in that says to sign in I got to go into my WP admin do come extensions select subscription tab oh, okay so I got to go into extensions and then I got to go to subscription tabs and then I have to connect it I'm connected okay okay so I'm connected now then I want to do what click connect I'm, I am connected right I am connected right there okay so update okay so it's not there okay so now I'm connected click approve button to connect your site I've already done that once your store is connected your WooCommerce account your subscription is shown in the subscription tab well I don't have any could not find any subscriptions why not I my subscriptions downloads WooCommerce and Stripe well I guess this must be it download so I'm going to save that in just my downloads WooCommerce Gateway Stripe okay then I'm going to go back here and I'm going to go into plugins where is it where's plugins where plugins go am I blind plugins there they are right over here and I'm just going to say install add a new plugin upload plugin choose a file and I'm going to go to my downloads and get the file I just have here and then install now it's already installed apparently okay uh cancel so now that means it's already here if I go to my installed plugins so why is it not allowing me creative WooCommerce for PayPal for Stripe settings let's go to settings oh I see Stripe test mode stripe account keys web there you go web hook all right that's where it is so it's under how do, how can you even find that I got to go to settings and then payments and then I can have a web hook so after so you must add the following web hook endpoint to your stripe email to your stripe account settings so this will allow you to get notification but that's actually not what I I don't want that uh so it would be in stripe log messages payment request button this is just payment request button enable payment request buttons by using apple pay okay capture charge immediately statement descriptor inline credit card form what is that choose the stock you want to choose to show you for your credit card form when unchecked the credit card form will display separate credit card number field mm, what is this webhook secret get your webhook signing secret from the webhooks section in your stripe account oh, okay so that's it's actually the reverse this is the reverse it's if somebody buys something in stripe then um then I would notify my uh, wordpress my woocommerce that I have received a payment which isn't what I want I want so I guess you have to integrate that into stripe let's go to stripe and let's log in to my login I want to log in to my stripe account 
what am I connected as right here am I on my it's my John sales guy now with gmail okay so connected accounts reports products I don't have any products here developers api so webhooks okay so what do i want to do i want to add an endpoint not a def devices receiving events okay add an endpoint what does that do endpoint url description events <coughs> okay so this would be where you would actually set up something <coughs> customer created all these different things you can actually do all this subscription created see for example if you want to have somebody uh, buy so let's just do that here let's do it in stripe I'm going to go into products here and I'm going to add a product this is going to be called um, TikTok master's course right we're at 41 minutes I'm going to try to finish this I'm going to upload the image same image we had before which is under here under TikTok masters and it's the fit the image down here the cover no uh, this one this one let's do this one okay so that's going to be it here I'm going to put the same description I have here again uh, stripe over here oh 200 too much we want it to be shorter eh? wow okay let's just do that and then let's put what can I okay I'm just going to put this part oh whoa whoa whoa, whoa. did not want to click that this description here and this description here all right so we're going to put that here uh, t-shirt link create yes all right okay so there it's it there pricing it's going to be it's not a month it's a standard pricing it's just it's not per month one time okay so this will be one time and it's 197 okay let's make it 197 it's not Canadian why is it Canadian USD okay so and that's it let's just say save product okay so now I have a product in my clicky course stripe account I guess I have okay I guess I can have more than one in the same thing okay <coughs> so now I want to edit events a product id was created statement so if somebody buys this here I want them to get it here right it's so that means I need a webhook and that would mean that if I go in here I go into developers webhooks and I'm going to create an endpoint and it's going to be let's just say it's going to be some so API equals anyways whatever there, there has to be a proper API right um events to select so let's go, let's go to purchase no so there would have to be an event charge captured I don't know maybe this is it charge captured 
oh I want to have other events okay I want to have also charge succeeded then I want to have a I see okay so now this is the thing so you got to create this <laughs> and then what happens okay so now now this that means that the back end has to respond to this um so this would not be the TikTok course it would just be uh, actually go equals stripe I'm just going to do this like this that's right now it's not going to do anything so uh respond to stripe api webhook so the developer that's building your software right whether it's a, a plugin whether it's a it's a course like the clicky course site they have to allow this particular um, thing to trigger right so this is kind of how that works so I'm gonna add this endpoint so now if I click on it is there a way to to test it signing secret okay so now I need a secret um and no recent attempts okay so this would be that means that my clicky course has to support a, 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 this API uh, which I call a go um but that's it though whenever whenever that's re that's triggered then the site does whatever it needs to so if somebody buys this course from from stripe or if somebody buys a plugin or a, an extension or something right then you have to trigger whatever the end result at the other end is to add to there so that's your developer that needs to do that if they set up that's how you set it up and I know it's a little complicated but just so you know it's doable and it's doable for free I didn't pay for any of this and right now I can I could actually have a purchase on stripe go through to my back end go to connect and it's all connected all right if you have any questions obviously you can always reach out comment below in the video make sure you subscribe all that good stuff and we'll see you in the next episode have yourself a great day this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.